All right, guys, we have a brand new list of trending graded comics, and is it time to buy? With I, this guy? I don't know, we'll find out. <music> Welcome back, gainers, to another incredible, exciting, fantastic episode of... Comic Gate! If you knew the show, I'm Adam. I'm Zach, and this is Princess Aurora. Hi, it's looking very lovely today, just like usual, doing that princess way, so bow down and respect. Mm hmm. And there's uh, Coco. Coco, yeah, she's down there. All right, guys, so today is Saturday. We've moved our shows around a little bit, and uh, we are doing Time to Buy with Zach. So we have our graded trending comic book list that we have compiled together of five trending comics that are graded, and uh, we want to get Zach's opinion. So uh, Princess and myself kind of put together this list of books that we're interested in and are you know kind of hot right now. We want to know if it, Zach thinks it's a good idea to buy these books because he's kind of our resident graded uh, comic book knowledge guy. Hmm. There's got to be a good word we can come up with. Yeah. They slash genius. I don't know if I'd go that far. <laughs> I don't know. I <laughs> slash, slash genius, definitely. <laughs> slash. No, I'm just kidding. All right, come on. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so yeah, that's what we got lined up for you today. But uh, what we also have lined up for you is... Not a beer, because I'm taking a small little break, and I want to lose some of those fat. So we got here an energy drink. It's a passion fruit, because I like, got a lot of passion. And it's a Yachak, organic plant-based energy tea, yerba mate energy drink. I don't know what any of that means, but it's supposed to give you energy. Yeah. And that's the best part of an energy drink. Yeah, so over the last couple of years, Zach has tried very a lot of different beers and given you guys his opinion. So uh, we thought... He would try all the weird energy drinks out there and give you his opinion on the energy drink. And some of them. So you get to see how hyper he gets. You used to watch him see how drunk he gets during the show. Now you can see how hyper he gets during the show. 34 grams of what? Of sugar. Mm -hmm. Ugh, that's a lot of grams. <laughs> you should know about the gram. Is there a point two in there? It's a point one. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's okay. It tastes like a frog. Yeah, you're it tastes like a frog. You're me. It's so sad. If you guys like tea-based uh, drinks, it's not bad at all. Uh, okay. It's kind of like a, one of those, um, what's it What's it called? Uh, those green teas? That, Arizona? No, no, no. Arizona no, no. green tea. Well, kind of like it, but like <laughs> the other one that doesn't have the sugar. Uh, okay. Whatever. All right, let's get into the real. Let's get into the comics of you guys came here today. So, we got five books for you lined up, and uh, yeah, we'll kick this off. These are our trending graded, com trending graded comic books. So, first on the list... We have Young Avengers number one from 2005. Uh, you got the Jim Chung and Alan Heinberg is the creative group on this book. I absolutely love this cover, dude. They need to do Jim Chung. I need to find out what more covers he's done. But you have the first team appearance of the Young Avengers. It's one of my uh, personal favorite books here. You got Kate Bishop's first appearance. You have Patriot's first appearance. You have uh, Asgardian's first appearance, although Wiccan's, uh, you know, Wiccan is actually Asgardian, but his first appearance is earlier on. You have Hulkling, and you have Iron Lad, who uh, also was later revealed to be Kang. Sorry for this, this spoiler alert on that one, guys. But uh, you also have, uh, uh, also a note, Stature uh, joins the team later on. Her first appearance is not in, obviously, her first appearance of Stature is not in this book. It's a couple five of Five or later. six. Yeah, something like that. But five. Really, really cool team. And uh, I just think this is a really special book. You know, um, obviously, it, it appears that we're leading towards Young Avengers and the MCU. I mean... They brought Kate Bishop in and gave her own show. You know, we've got Kang has already shown up. Mm -hmm. Wiccan has already showed up. Um, you got Hulkling is, I think, part scroll. So he's actually like his mother is like, like a scroll. He might be all scroll. I'm not sure. So you got this, you got the Secret Invasion coming up. So, I mean, uh, you know, Patriot seems like he's somewhere around in there. Yeah. I don't know. So something's going down. This should be, everyone kind of knows maybe this is happening, but um, just a cool book. Really, really cool book. And uh, don't forget, there's a Toy Biz variant that has some value, some decent value. So some of those Toy Biz ones don't have a lot of value. This one's garnished just a little bit of value. You have the Director's Cut, which is a half sketch, which Zach personally likes a lot, which is a very good book. You have the Wizard World exclusive, which is a full sketch. And there's a Wizard First uh, 9.5 graded version. I think they're all automatically 9.5 graded. I still want to know why they're 9.5. It's a weird... Because 0.5 is the best part. I guess. Uh, and something interesting about that, if you guys don't know about the Wizard First program, they took the first couple books in the actual printing, the whole printing process. First, let's say 20, if they do 20, they take the first 20 books, they slab them up, put the 9.5, make sure that they're at, at least 
near mint. And, you know, they put that special label of the Wizard First program. It's still weird, though. Weird that they give him a 9-5. Yeah, it is uh, still weird. It's weird. But it's cool. So, but anyways, uh, more importantly, I don't know, Zach, is it time to buy this book? Well, recent sales on eBay is between 600 and $620. So very constant, certain price. That's pretty, that's a good sign. Uh, in a CDC 9.8, there's 1,974 books that are 9.8, 1,938 are universal, 28 are signature series, and 8 of them are qualified zero restored, thank God. There's a total of 4,585 total grade of this book. Oh wow, okay. Cover so A. 25%? It's, it's a... Yeah. It's a, or more than 25%? It's a little less than half. Wow, okay. It's a little less than half of total grade. So I would buy this book. But I would buy it raw, inspect it, of course, get it pressed, send it in. Probably cost you maybe half of that six hundred to probably potentially get a nine eight. Yeah, I mean, it, by the numbers, you have a high chance of getting a nine eight, higher than normal. And it's a newer book, and it's a little stockier. I'm surprised that there's not a nine point nine in this. Yeah, it's a, well, it's it's, it's a, well, it's a thin book too. I was surprised how thin it was. Yeah, like the book itself is written, and also it's a good thing to to know the keys of the Young Avengers line too, because there's about three or four good keys in there. So if you see a run, don't just grab that one; grab the ones in between too, six and twelve and something like that. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Buy know raw. your your keys. Buy raw, buy a high grade. Nice, nice, good book. I love mm -hmm. that book. It's gonna happen for us, guys. We have if you got one, it's gonna happen for you. Next up on the list, we got some uh, image goodness here. Got some Paper Girls, number one from 2015. It got Cliff Jiang and the uh, uh, Brian K. Vaughn doing the story on this saga. The guy yeah. did uh, oh, wow. the did saga. So uh, I'm starting to learn a little more about the story. I still need to read it, but they've got the TV show coming out. So it's a group of girls get caught up in a time war and uh, believe they actually come in encounter with their older selves. So they actually get to meet like their okay. older selves and they have to deal with like all this stuff going on. So uh, this book's pretty cool book. I, I like the, the cover is pretty amazing. I love this yellow cover and the nice artwork on it. Um, a year ago, I think uh, they got uh, picked up by Amazon to do the TV show and we already have our first preview that came out. So, mm. and the preview looks cool. It definitely had some Stranger Things vibes to it, which isn't a bad thing because it kind of shows like the younger girls take place in the 80s and they run into their older selves that are like in our time. So um, okay. kind of has some cool stuff going on with that. And they did show like uh, Ali Wong, which is really, really funny comedian, a lot in the previews. And we kind of did a little bit of research. She's only credited in one episode, which was kind of weird that most of the previews were her. And she's <laughs> only in one episode. So I don't know where the, what they were doing with that. But on the side note, the strange thing about this book is when last July, when it got crazy, it was over $100 raw for this book. It was nuts. And now with the previews coming out, it's kind of like was going back up again, but it's nowhere near hitting what it was, no. which is kind of strange. I would have thought it would have gone right back to what it was before, at least, you know, until yeah. the show comes out and then go back down. But I don't know, Zach, what do you think? Is it a good time to buy this book rated? Well, CGC 9.8 right now are usually going for between $105 and $129.99. There's 2,592 wow. CGC 9.8 2,276 are universal, 312 are signature series, three are qualified, and there's one restored. Dude, it'd be really easy to clean that up with a yellow highlighter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm, I'm I'll just, just fix this little bit here. Uh, how many graded? 3,066. Oh, wow, that's a lot of 9.8s. It's huh? almost 100% 9.8s. Huh. I mean, this thing is probably like easy to get raw, I mean, easy to get 9.8. So, I mean, I, I would have to watch a show, but I'm saying this is a no-go. I'm saying you probably like spend your money elsewhere, because I just don't know about the history of the book as much. I mean, right now it's probably the cheapest it's ever going to be, so, except for maybe a little after show. So it's it's kind of like give or take. It's, if you read it, like it, get a 9.8 mm -hmm. if you haven't. Eh. But for me, I wouldn't buy it. That's just my opinion. Though. You can still, yeah. And if you're really looking for, if you if you look hard enough when you're digging through people's boxes, sometimes you can find them in there. I think I, I got mine for like four bucks or something. That's, yeah, that's pretty. They good didn't deal. even know. They didn't know. That's pretty good deal. No, that happens. All right. 
Next up on the list, gotta have some Venom action here. So let's get Zach's opinion on some Venom. Uh, we have Amazing Spider-Man 316 from 1989. David Michelini and Todd McFarlane. Goodness on this book. And we only have one in this household and it is owned by the princess. And she is rubbing it in our faces. That is her copy right there. And it's a newsstand too. To boot. Um, this book is popular because it is the third appearance of Venom and the first full cover appearance. Now, they do have that uh, nice little floating head on issue 315. I actually like that cover, and it almost kind of confusing because Hydra Man does kind of look like Eddie Brock, mm -hmm. but it is Hydra Man. But it's a cool book nonetheless. And, uh, you know, on a side note on this cover, uh, as I prefer, Venom has no tongue hanging out there. I don't know if you guys like the tongue, Venom with tongue or no tongue. You can leave a comment down below if you prefer the tongue on mm -hmm. Venom or just in general. I don't know how that goes, but, uh, you know, it's. It, this is a cool book, a really hot book. It is, I mean, Zach, we were talking about this the other night. It is kind of like the second book to 300. So 300 being Venom's biggest book. This is probably the second biggest book out there. Um, so, and actually not having this book, I thought I got kind of priced out of it. I, I thought this book was way out of my, my price point for a while. And it's kind of come down a little bit. And I didn't realize Princess got that book for like under 50 bucks. And I'm jealous. I wish I would, I would have bought that for 50 bucks all day long. Um, but... I don't know. It might be a good time to buy this book. And you know who would tell you? Me. Zach. Yeah. What do you think, Zach? The master. The expert. Uh, whatever. Uh, so recent sales on the e eBay, CGC 9.8, is $775 to $830. Very stable. Very stable within a certain range. Uh, there's one CGC 10.0. Oh. Gem Mint. Oh. Ooh. There's 12 CGC 9.9s. 10 Universal, two of them Signature Series, and... Obviously, there's none of the other. Uh, and there's 1,744 CGC 9.8s, 1,449 are universal, 292 are signature series, two of them are qualified, and one, unfortunately, just like the cover is purple. It's restored. No, I like the purple cover, but I don't like the purple label. There's 8,135 copies graded, so that's a mm. good, that's actually a pretty good That's surprising ratio. for how many 9.9s and 10s are. There's that little 9.8s compared to how many are graded. Yeah. That's yeah. weird. Okay. Wow. It's crazy. That's um, weird. It's pretty, I know this book was selling for way above a thousand at one point, and like Adam said, we were talking about it. This is if you love Venom and you got his first issue, you might well, might as well get his first cover appearance. There's no other keys besides that, from what I can understand. But it's such a eye-catching cover. It's I would say I would say buy this. I would I would actually go for the nine eight because your chances of if you want a nine eight, buy the nine eight. This is the time to buy the nine eight. This is the time to buy. Now's the time. Now's what? your chance. Now's your chance. You Buy can do book. it. Buy it. Do oh, it. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Next up on the list, we have Wolverine number one from 1988. This is the uh, John Basima and Chris Claremont is the group on this book. This is the first ongoing Wolverine solo title and a new costume, new black costume. Hmm. That's important. But, uh, you know, obviously they have the Frank Miller one is the first solo type, first solo title book that only goes to like four issues, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a limited limited series. series. That's his first one. This is the first ongoing one. Um, this is a this is a cool book. I think actually this is a this is a book Princess picked out for the list, so she wanted us to get Zach's opinion. Um, I, you know, it's kind of one of those books that was oddly cheap for a long time. I think for a good reason. I'm kind of surprised it's as expensive as it is now. I passed on this book a lot for twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, for a long time, you'd see it for 20 bucks, you're like, eh, you know, there's nothing like that cool about it. And plus, the series as a whole doesn't even have that many keys in it. For how many books there are, it goes yeah, above like 200 of, issues, yeah. doesn't it? A lot of Yeah, issues. there's a lot of issues. So, and it's nothing too, I, the cover's okay. It's not like that great of a cover either in comparison to the Frank Miller one, which is, yeah, you know, awesome. BA. But it's expensive as heck now. They're like over $100 for a raw copy, uh, which is crazy. I mean, if you love it, you love it. Go for it. And uh, don't forget, there's a newsstand in this. Uh, you can get a newsstand version, which almost is double, almost double value on that book for the newsstand. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, Zach. Zach may have a different opinion. And what do you think, Zach? Is it time to get this book? 
So, recent sales for CGC 9.8 Direct Edition is $399.99 to $501.62. I feel that's really not that big of a range, but it's kind of like 100 bucks is, I don't know. I'm kind of particular, well, well, not particular, but I'm picky and choose. If it's 100 bucks on one book, I say it's volatile. If 100 bucks on another book, it's not so volatile. But Depends on the book. Everyone, <laughs> I'm kind of paid. That that's pretty volatile for me, in my opinion. Uh, just opinion, uh, not expert opinion. There's one <laughs> CGC 10.0 gem mint. Wow. There's 15 9.9s, 13 universal, and two signature series. There's 3,027 CGC 9.8s. 2,704 are universal. 319 are signature series. Wow, Three are qualified. A one, unfortunately, again. Restore. Probably the same guy. Yeah, <laughs> he just he just restores everything. He's like, I don't care. I like that purple label. You're wrong. It's death. There's fifteen thousand two hundred sixty-nine CGC books graded of this. That's a good ratio. So yeah, uh, cover not bad. All black cover. So it's probably gonna be hard to get a nine eight. So if you want to get this book, you probably want, in a nine eight. You will probably want to buy it. It's kind of a low chance of getting a nine eight. So if you want to buy the 9.8, but my opinion is there's no first appearances. The cover is not too crazy. I would probably spend my money elsewhere if you, in the order things. But if you're a big Wolverine fan, this should be pretty high on your list. Yeah, I mean, it, it might it, it'd be a good time to flip it if you have as soon as he hits the MCU. You know, this is going to go. It's one of those books that's going to go crazy because they're going to start picking off each one. You know, 181 gets really hot, and then you got the ones after it. You know, Giant Size X, everything's going to go down the list. Somewhere this is going to fall in line with the books that are going to go up. And if you want to if you want to make some money on it, you got your good time to sell it. Right, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And uh, always don't forget about that. I think 182 or 183 has like a little issue of them in Wolverine in there, in there. And it's never demands as much value as the 180 and 181. Mm -hmm. And that might be a good time to get that too. Anyways. But that's beside the point. I, I would say spend your money more wisely elsewhere unless you're a Wolverine fan. I don't know what could happen. Okay. Next up on the list, and the last book of the day, Princess picked out X-Men number four from 1992. So you got the uh, Jim Lee uh, goodness on here, writer and artist. And uh, this is first appearance of Omega Red, a Russian serial killer. And uh, the Russian version of Wolverine He's got that uh, sweet carbonadium metal going throughout his body. It's kind of like a ghetto version of adamantium. And uh, I think it's also poisonous, too, isn't it? Like, isn't it, like actually poisons him at the same time? I think like, adamantium also poisons It does, but I think carbonadium is even worse. Like, it's, like, super cruddy. So uranium mixed with, what, what, uh, adamantium? And silly putty. And silly putty. Yeah, yes. you gotta have that. Oh, but uh, scientists. <laughs> this is this is a very interesting and cool book. I mean, you know, you got it's a great cover. It's all these a lot of these books from that run are really awesome covers. But a lot of them aren't worth a lot because they overprinted them. But mm -hmm. Jim Lee did excellent work on a lot of these covers. But in recent times, a year ago, this book got hot twice. Went crazy twice. It, people were speculating massively for Black Widow. They're like they're in Russia, and you have the Russian villain, you know, the greatest Russian villain there, and they don't use him, but everyone thought they were going to use him. And then after that, then you have Falcon and Winter Soldier, and everyone thought, okay, here's an opportunity again. He's definitely coming out in this show. And then he didn't show again. And now it's like, it was, they still haven't used him, and they're still pro they probably could use him, and, but the book has, you know, definitely taken a little bit of dip. And it, I always thought it was weird that it got as expensive as it did because it's a 90s book and there's like a million copies of it. I mean, I think in this household alone, we have what, more than six? Yeah, at least. Yeah, that's quite a few. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just crazy. And, you know, everyone was either like buying them, selling them, you know, trading them. And it's like you go somewhere and someone would be trying to sell like a raw copy for like a hundred dollars. You're like, that's crazy. That's crazy talk, you know. But uh, I don't know. It's an interesting book. And uh, we kind of know what's Zach's opinion on buying it graded now because it has taken a little bit of a dip. This isn't the drop list, but, you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, recent sales is $140.50 to $180. There's one CGC 9.9. .9. There's 4,766 CGC 9.8s. 4,140 are universal. 622 are signature series. One qualified, one restored. There's 11,181 graded total. 
Uh, that's quite a bit. Uh, there's an Australian version Whoa. that came out exactly the same time. There's one highest grade, CDC 9.6. There's only six graded total. Zach's was trying to get me to buy these Australian books. He's like, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> yeah, so how I'm thinking is, you know, we got the Canadian price variant. Same time kind of thing. Those are commanding a higher value. You got the, uh, the Pence variants that, for some reason, don't command a high value. That might be, potentially, might or might not be the next one, next variant that's going to go up in price. But then you got the Australian one, which is way, way, way more limited. Yeah, it's that, stuck on the island. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm telling you guys and gals, everyone, see if you can find those Australian versions. <clears throat> Bet they had to be printed at the exact same time. That's the exception. And there's probably not that many. True. So, good luck. Uh, this book, I mean, you're, you're not going to lose on it for this price. Uh, but at the same time, all oh, the go back and forth, back and forth about the Omega Red has kind of thrown me off about this. Yeah, book. it's I hard think, to tell. Yeah, and I think it's done the same thing. So the potential gains that you could have got probably has gone down a little bit because... People are kind of like a little tired of hearing about a make it red, but it, it's a fantastic <laughs> cover, fantastic Jim Lee cover. I would, I would probably want to get this signed by Jim Lee at this point. Yeah, I would want to get signed by Jim Lee, and that's in San Diego this year. Oh, so if you're there and you get that copy, or find one at the booth, get signed and get a great. Yeah, he's, he's there, there Saturday, so when you see this video, go look for him. <laughs> get your copy signed. You get your copy signed. It's smart. That's where it's going to command a lot mm -hmm. of value. That's where it is. Yeah, uh, and out of all those books, I'd probably go after that ASM 316 the most. Yeah. That's, that's probably yeah, If you wanted it, now's your chance. Now's the chance. I'm going to go after it's it. Gonna be I'm one, taking your advice, Zach. It's going to be one of those modern grills. It's always going to go up, guys. It's always going to go up. It's a no-brainer. Yeah, I mean, it's like it's the biggest Venom book with him on the cover. You know exactly. what I mean? ASM 300 is his book, but he's not even on the cover. The mm -hmm. suit is. Someone else is wearing it, though. Yeah. And that's <laughs> kind of messed up. <laughs> you don't wear another man's fatigues? No, never. All right. Um, don't forget, guys, uh, right after this show at 6 p.m. today, Princess has her live whatnot auction. So lots of plenty of gains to be had. You know how she does it. She starts everything off at $1. And uh, quick auctions, she doesn't mess around. Like, I mean, she talks a lot on there but she don't mess around she's like book 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 giveaway giveaway book book giveaway you know how that goes so uh, a lot of fun you get to hear me and zach uh, arguing in the background mm -hmm. like we do but uh don't forget about that and uh princess uh we also have our exclusive will be available to uh pick up on that whatnot show there so mm -hmm. um you can even pick up the exclusive and then you get that shipping on it and then whatever you buy in the auction you get discounted shipping so you can like lump those together and get those gains as they say right that works that way right get those gains. yeah yeah so uh plenty of goodness to be had and if you like the show love the show hit that subscribe button hit the like button hit the notification bell so you always know when new things are going down because we got our live shows now on wednesday where we hang out with the comic games uh family as it is and you guys get to ask us questions and uh, we go over our new comic day pickups if they show up on time so uh, hit that notification bell on that and uh leave a comment down below uh, let us know what you think about uh, Zach's opinions on these books. is always a big thing. Oh, or also, whether or not you like the tongue. And uh, <laughs> Zach, what else you got for him? You got to share how you do this. You have to be running around in the forest, whatever. Typical thing. Typical day. You know, you know, doing it at night. You know, you're kind of a hero, kind of not. You're, you come out of the dark hole, basically. You burst from the dark hole, just like many other things. But you know what? You're kind of like... Designate that one title, your werewolf by night. But can't you also be werewolf by day if you're out in the daytime? Or werewolf by the beach? Werewolf on the moon? That's going to be a thing. We're going to all go to the Ooh, moon. Wouldn't you always be werewolf if you're on the moon? I, I guess you'd be like, maybe werewolf in space. Oh. oh genius idea. <laughs> <laughs> Get those space games. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Nice, nice. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Until we see you next time, stay safe and remember. Woo! Get those games. Get on. Every single one. We'll see you soon. See you. See ya.